Hey guys, welcome back to my page. And um, today I'm gonna to be doing a fabulous review for you. Actually, we've got, I've got like a little robot bunch, I'll show you. Let me show you the back. Can you see, can you see, can you see my name? Can you see it says Gary? Can you see? What should we can see it? Ah, <sighs> guys, it's so hot. It's literally, I'm wearing a robe because I've just filmed a video for you guys. Um, what kind of video was it? I think it was like, um, what was it? Was it a first impression? It was a first impression, but in the end, I didn't have that much products that I thought I did. Actually, I did have a lot of products too, but I felt like the ones that I chose in the end, I'm like, mm, yeah, you know what I mean? But um, I've moved my camera from my window, so I've tried to do like a little candle set for you back there. I tried to do like a little, like one of those boards, but you know, tell me if you like it because it's cute. So I thought I'd do another kind of video for you today. I'll be reviewing something from Christian Louboutin Beauty. You've probably seen me use this lipstick in a video before. And um, let me put my camera back a bit. Before, and um, you've probably been like, oh, Gary didn't mention that he had got that before. So I got this lipstick ages ago. And how much was it? I think it was more expensive in Dubai. I think it was about hundred pounds, which is ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's definitely one of the most expensive lip products I own. I think, what else do I own that's expensive that's a lip product? It would probably be like a Hourglass lip oil, and that was about maybe 40, 50 pounds. But other than that, I've never bought like a lipstick or anything for that kind of mad money. But um, I thought I'd just do a little review. So basically, um, I've got it in the Dubai Mall, and I think because it's obviously a, a, a Parisian a Parisian brand. When you go and buy anything in Dubai, anything that's made in obviously Paris, England, or is European, it's gonna be a slightly bit more expensive. This sun is playing with me today. It's actually like trying to fuck me up. But anyway, um, so it was a bit more expensive, but I really, really wanted it because I thought, okay, this is so cute. I really, really need this. Cause the color, when I seen it, I thought, mm, okay. So when you open it, let me show you. It looks like this. When I open it, I'm such a fan of Christian Louboutin. If you guys would have seen some of my hauls or if you follow me on Instagram, you would see that I've got three pairs from Louboutin. I've got two spikes and two high tops. And um, I bought one of the pairs at a sample sale, which my friend got me, and two of the pairs, one for, one for a birthday present and one was just when I was in Dubai, which was a really, really sweet gift. So it comes in a packaging like this, which is a staple red bottom color with black. It's so, so classic. Um, it did come with a little string. And I did say to the girl, oh, what's this string for? And she was like, when you actually finish your lipstick, you can actually use it for jewellery. Because I don't think, I don't think um, the gold actually goes rusty and weird. So I thought, oh, okay, okay. But, um, oops, almost dropped it. So the packaging is like that. It's really, really nice. I therefore kept it because obviously it's like a collector's item. And it looks like this. Guys, don't you think this is like a weapon? If like, if I was like walking down the street and someone pulled out this, I thought, I'm not sure what in the Sailor Moon is going on. I'm not sure if it would be like a, some kind of mini gun or mini kind of pen bullet. But literally, if you threw this at someone really hard, you could actually like do some permanent damage. I'd be like, okay. So um, yeah, this is that Christian Louboutin lipstick. The packaging is just, it's just life, like it's life more. Like you can't ask for such sick packaging. Like if you compare it to like, if you compare it to like a MAC lipstick, it's just like, you get what you're paying for. First of all, you're paying for Christian Louboutin, the name, and you're paying for the packaging. Cause let me show you this color. So I didn't realize, I watched Jeffree Star's video on his um, Christian Louboutin lip gloss review and um, I didn't realize the colors were actually on the box. So all this time I get thinking, how is the name not on the lipstick? Like, what if I need to like recommend it to a friend? What if I lose it? What am I supposed to say? You know what I mean? So um, this is called Zulu, 715 Zulu. What a weird name. So let me just show you the color. So the color is like this. Super pretty, super nude, and super, super cute. So it looks like that. It kind of reminds me of MAC Torp. It's really, really like um, brownie, really like torpy and really, really warm, which is perfect for my skin tone. So let me just zoom in for you and show you guys what it looks like on my lips. So, oh, such a nice packaging. Allow me because I'm sweating. I'm literally sweating. 
So I'm going to do one swipe. So that's it on the bottom lip. So nice. So that's the colour there, um, it's super pretty, super nice. Um, to be, because I've been trying this for like literally, well, I've had it since last year, no I haven't, I've had it since about April, yes, yeah, since April. And um, to be fair, when I do eat or anything, it does come up super quick. Um, obviously it's because I'm quite a sport by using liquid lips and liquid lips, liquid lips last so long. And I feel like when I always use like a normal lipstick out of a bullet, it normally, it normally um, comes off, but to be fair, the formula is so soft, it hasn't yet dried up my lips. I'm not sure if it's because it's summer. It's not drying at all. It feels literally like butter on the lips. It's so cushiony. It's so soft. Um, the colour is quite unique, a bit. It reminds me a lot of taupe, but I think this is much nicer than taupe because taupe can be very drying, what I feel. And I just feel like it's just so nice. I don't have to wear liner with this because it's like a perfect nude for my skin tone. And I feel like I only use it sometimes. I don't like wear it out every day just because of the packaging. Like I feel like if I bring it out, it has to be like a glam night. So when I put it out, I just be like, uh -huh. and so I'll be like, what's that Gary? I'll be like, nothing. You know what I mean? And obviously you would never share this kind of lipstick with anyone. Like Emma put it out and my friend was like, oh, can I have some? I was like, babe, are we trying to share coastals or you know <laughs> I'm just saying flame flame. But um yeah, that is the colour. Um would I purchase another one? No. Unless someone gave it to me, or unless they sent me some, unless like someone's gifted me one, I feel like I think in UK in the UK it's like um how much is it? That's my phone. I'm gonna Google how much it is. Okay, so I'm gonna let me just read you what it says really to about the lip stick. I'm gonna start this website. It says Christian Louboutin can Convertible velvet matte lipstick offers opulent colour, a soft touch feel with a non drying comfort. A complex of natural oils and seeds and seed butters to help effectively hydrate and moisturise while also coating and the lips in an invaluable hue encased in a signature gold and metal body inspired by Middle Eastern antiques. Okay, this is why these Dubai ladies go crazy for it. Um, it does a range of colours. So this lipstick is £70. No, 70 pounds is mad. Because if you think his found, oh no, that's Tom Ford. <laughs> if you think a Tom Ford foundation is 70 pounds also, which is mad, the trace lipstick. And I feel like, would you rather buy a lipstick or a foundation? But to me, it depends on what kind of person you are. If you like collecting lipsticks and you like sick packaging and you feel like you're a bad Insta baddie bitch, then I'll probably get one. But if you're just looking for a cute little nude, like a brownie nude, which is gonna set you off for the day or the weekend with the girls somewhere, then this lipstick isn't for you, boo. Like you can get like a dupe anyway. When I was Googling it, like so many dupes came up, but um, sorry. But um, yeah, I feel like it's either or, like you don't need to get it if you don't need to. It's not one of these crazy things, but it's definitely a cute, cute piece. You know what I mean? So um, that is the lipstick. And if you want any more reviews on the high luxury makeup, let me know and I'll squeeze, I'll squeeze a bit in. But thank you guys for watching and love ya.